You said that the road to happiness was long and winding. You said that the forest would get dark. Hello, hi, my name is Petra and welcome to next video. So it's 12 47. I woke up around like 15 minutes ago. It's Saturday, so yeah, let's be honest, I haven't really planned anything for this weekend. Uh because I just didn't felt it. So this week was kind of busy. So work was really busy, so I've been had in one go since uh since Monday. And then a Thursday we had like a work drinks. I didn't drink because I'm doing like dry February, maybe not drinking till my birthday, till July, but we will see about that. So I just did like Diet Coke and then we have some like nibbles on the table. There was like some fried chicken, um, squid, chips and something else. I can't remember. But it was like Napoli, Nepalese, Nepalese. Uh, Nepalese, I guess you say it, uh, inspired and there was something that kind of upset my stomach because I woke up yesterday, I didn't have breakfast, I felt a bit like mach, my stomach hurt a bit and then I had just, I made just soup for lunch and I didn't even have dinner because I just felt mech and then I pass out after basically finishing and work so I think from 7 to like 9 I had a nap and then I did a few bits and bobs, like reading and, you know, some stuff on uh, on my phone. And basically been again asleep around like one-ish and slept till basically now. So there was something definitely going on with me, but I feel a bit better now, so that's good. And uh, because I'm not planning to do anything, I decided we can do what I eat in a day when I'm trying to lose some weight. So I waited myself this morning. I don't really want to say that number, but I will do. So it was £243.6. So you can see that here. That I'm not lying. This is honestly the heaviest I've ever been, but you know, that kind of happens with me just sitting all day by the desk, not really uh, moving. Also, uh, having uh, paying gym for two and a half months and not stepping it as well. So, you know, it kind of makes sense that I'm on this number. Anyways, um, I did uh, counted my uh, calories, my macros, which I should be hitting. So we are now on 2200. It could be high for someone, but I am in deficit. Also, I'm trying to go to gym five times a week. Um, so the high number makes sense because I am a heavy girl. Okay, so we definitely not starting with like 1600 or 1500 calories because I would starve myself to death and make damage to my body and we don't want to do that. So at the moment I have this calories. Uh, it's now been like a week and a half. I have down, I think four pounds roughly um depending on a day obviously the, my weight is fluctuating like crazy like every day is different but like on average i am like four pounds down and yeah so the biggest difference i think this time is that if i look back like eight years ago when i was losing weight because uh i think my heaviest was 219 pounds and I was like, well, right, okay, that's enough. We're going to lose some weight. But I took it really drastically. So I was in the gym. I was walking everywhere. I had so much, like, um, movement. I cut my calories ridiculously. I remember I was eating, like, 18,000, 17,000 calories a day. Then I was literally weighting absolutely everything. So I weighed everything, uh, log it in my fitness bar and got obsessed with numbers. And that kind of then, oh, my arm hurts. And that kind of involved to essentially just being obsessed and unhealthy. I didn't go out really because I was scared that I'm gonna go over my calories and I can't really see what calories the meal gonna be. Um, yeah, so it was just miserable. And then uh, I quite often ended up binge eating and then punishing myself with additional cardios. I remember like on my 
normal daily basis was that I binge eat and around let's say like 8 p.m 9 p.m and then I felt so sick uh not like sick like physically but I was sick like how I can do that when I did all this like progress I'm eating really healthy I've been in gym earlier so with 24 7 gym I literally packed my shits at 11 p.m went to gym and did two hours cardio to sweat out the binge so not the healthiest way and I don't want to end it up there I don't think I will I at the moment I'm like like the reason why I want to lose weight is not the same like this is mainly for my health because I can feel you know my knees are hurting and when I'm walking obviously I'm breathing uh, loudly and I'm just not fit so I just want to get to like healthy weight lose some uh some pounds and feel just better about myself it's not like really look great in bikini or look great in dress how it was before um no that's not the motivation this time so yeah that's kind of the intro i guess <laughs> i've just been rumbling again i love to do that i love to rumble but uh yeah i'm just gonna make myself a breakfast now i'm gonna make myself a porridge and that the ground could shift here upon this hill we're climbing No matter how close we get, we're still so far But I trust we'll find the clearing I'm trusting the trail No matter what we're feeling There's one way we can fail Right, I'm just gonna enjoy my porridge now. I'm gonna do some reading on my Kindle and then we go to gym. So I'm gonna report when I'm getting ready or when I'm back. Okie dokie, so I'm ready now. It's 2.53 and I'm off to gym to do some cardio. So I will report when I'm back. I just got back home from gym. I should shower, but I can't be arsed. It's raining. What a day. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself some post workout meal. So I'm gonna eat first and then I'm gonna shower. So I'm gonna make a bibimbap because that's what I prepared. Me, hold my hand, baby. Keep hacking. The road up to success was an impossible test Unless we had some sort of map And I could feel it in my chest just as our feet beg And here it is, the bibimbap I'm just gonna now mix everything together And enjoy that So that was lovely But I'm still a bit peckish So I have a Korean pear I have some kiwis and I have some pomelo, so I'm gonna make like a fruit bowl and it's gonna be my dessert. So here's my fruit bowl. I have a kiwi pomelo Korean pear. Really recommend if you haven't tried it. It still tastes like a pear, but it's a bit different. I don't know, like, I don't like the normal pears at all, but something about the Korean, ke uh, ke Korean pear I like. And I will eat it with chopsticks because that's what I do. That's why I chop it small and then I can eat it with chopsticks. So yeah, mm. it's almost 11 o'clock and I still need to eat a meal. I was working on logo for my friend's business and just took way too much time to do it. So almost 11 and I still need to eat. So normally I would do rice, tuna, avocado, spinach bowl, but I'm not really in mood for that. So I think what I'm gonna do is some miso soup, so I have miso soup, I have some tofu, I have some rice cakes, so I'm just gonna work it in a pot 
uh, add some spinach and have that as a as a late night meal. Hopefully I will hit my macros. I think I'm low on protein, but it is what it is. I'm gonna have a protein shake tomorrow morning, additionally to my porridge, and then that will be it, I guess. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a quick soup and that's it. So this is the soup, it's very simple, basically just miso uh, soup base, bit of sesame oil, I add the spinach, uh, rice cakes and I have some enoki mushrooms as well and I'm just going to cook it for like 5 minutes and that is it. Yum! It's so simple but so good, I can't wait to, ooh steamy, to get, to tuck in. Good morning, it's Sunday. Um. I just woke up, it's like 10.30. I have already made myself my porridge. So I'm going to enjoy that in a bit. And then, sorry, I just need to put my finger in there. And yeah, then we'll go to little. So I just made a menu for next week. So kind of very similar to be fair. I'm going to do the same breakfast, which is the porridge. Uh, lunch going to be exactly the same. I'm going to do bibimbap. Am I gonna do kimbap as well? So that's basically all the ingredients for uh, bibimbap. You just put in a seaweed roll, roll it like a sushi, and you have a kimbap. I like that a lot as well. Um, and then I'm, um, uh, I'm really in the mood. Not just in the mood. I'm like craving eggs and like ham and bread and a bit of cheese. So I'm thinking is I'm gonna do omelets for dinner. So you know, just like three eggs bit of milk, uh, ham, cheese, spinach, whack it in a pan, make omelette and then have a bagel with it because I do crave bread, I love my bread and it fits per uh, perfectly with my macros as well. So I think it's going to be my dinners and then snack wise again it's going to be kiwi, pomelo, protein shake because I need to hit my protein and this like uh, birthday squares 99 calories bars which I have during the week because it's only five in a package so I'm gonna have those as a snack and yeah that's gonna be it I'm gonna again hit gym so hopefully we're gonna see some progress in my weight um, but yeah I'm not really stressing about it as I said before it's like more for me to kind of get healthier and feel just better because I sometimes do feel like I'm really out of breath I can't really walk as fast and you know some tasks uh, being a struggle so yeah, gonna take it easy, gonna do my gym five times a week. Um, it could be a lot. I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, maybe I should stay with like only three days and then slowly increase it. But I can see the change in my mental health when I go to gym. Like, I am more relaxed, I would say. And then also falling asleep is easier. So even though I'm still getting to bed around like 10 ish and falling asleep after 12 but i can feel like i'm tired not like before when i was like 12 and i was like shit i'm wide awake i need to go to bed and then i force myself to sleep you've been waking up during the night and basically had no proper rest but now it's like around 12 ish i just read before bed turn off the light put my kindle down and maybe in like five ten minutes i'm out and i do not wake up which is nice which is lovely so yeah that's kind of it i guess i don't know what else has to be said um yeah and then obviously i forgot i'm gonna take my uh supplements which is the omega 365 magnesium and zinc multivitamins collagen and vitamin d5 d3 something like that so those gonna be as well but i do not count them in my calories they are just like supplements so yeah anyways i really hope you enjoy uh this video it's a bit different it's just like you know what i'm eating it's nothing too exciting not too fancy but maybe 
you also want to get a bit healthier and you're struggling and you might have even the same weight as I have and this is a little inspo to you so yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new here subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye Dust to rest. I think this just might be the end of that but I said I trust we'll find